I got my images over here ready to roll. Um, let me, I'm going to just start creating this project now. So let me go yummy. There we go. Yummy recipe. Okay. And I'm going to open this folder and I'm going to put another folder in here called IMG. That's going to have all my images and I'm going to pop these guys in that folder to keep everything neat. Mind you, the, the big folder, the PNG is just that, um, blurred background image that's going to be my top header image in the salesy part then I have my little smaller images here um, that are going to be just more examples of the work so here they live in their own folder um, let me fire up my text editor you know what before I even get started I am going to save it I know I don't have anything to even save but um, the reason I do this is because when I save something I could just hit Apple S you know the quick keyboard shortcut and I'm always saving as I'm working you know I put a new line I save it quick so anyhow um, just to tell you why I'm doing it that way let me start off with index.html because that's going to be my main index page and alright let's get this party started we're, gonna, we're starting off with a nice fresh fresh document over here so what's the very first thing we start with um, our old doc type equals HTML yep good old HTML5 and let me just change my color coding over here great good start we're doing awesome <laughs> uh, then we do the old HTML tag because that's what everything gets encompassed in and then I'll close it right off the bat so I make sure I have um, everything working out um, what's my next step over here well every HTML document has what a head and a body so um, let me put my head in and then like I said I'll close it immediately and then I'm gonna put my body in right body and there we go very nice start over here um, this is the most basic skeleton you know HTML any HTML5 uh, document has these elements in here but uh, obviously we could do a little bit more than this at this point so let's start with another uh, element that I always put in every page meta name equals viewport okay and then content equals with equals device dash with okay and oops then comma and I'll put initial no no that's not correct initial you gotta you gotta spell stuff correctly uh, equals 1.0 then we have that there is there I feel like there's something funky with what I'm doing over here cut up oh, yeah I close content with okay all right uh, let's here we go okay so what did I just add over there well the most important thing when we're doing uh, uh, responsive design is that we add this viewport element this view this meta viewport basically says that Whatever the viewport size is, because the viewport, the width of the viewport equals the device width, scale our page to that exact width. So that means that um, if you've ever looked at a web page on your phone and it doesn't have this, sometimes when you go to it, you almost have to like uh, smush it back down so the entire web page fits on the entire screen, right? Uh, I hope that makes sense. Uh, but what this does is that this actually tells it to display the entire thing, right? So, so you have to display everything that's uh, on the page all viewable at its initial scale, which is 1.0. Uh, meaning, so here, let me, let me see if I could. It, it's almost like, let's see, here's this page, and if I go this way, this is what it would end up looking like. Um, on your on your mobile device right you're having this scroll but what we wanted to do is end up like looking like as though there's no horizontal scroll um, yeah so so this page is not built with that in mind um, and let's see if let's see if we could prove that by seeing if it doesn't have that meta viewport 
uh, find viewport. Nope. See, it doesn't have the viewport, so hence it doesn't scale. Uh, the same thing would happen to this guy is that instead of scaling, well, let's just say it's a little more complicated than that. But the idea would be that if we're trying to make it responsive and we want it that when it's scaled like this, everything fits in and there's no vertical scroll bar to be seen.